Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And welcome back to another special episode where we do an ultimate guide to the Haunted Forest. We're going to go over all of the world collectibles, starting with world collectible number one. Be found over in this area of the map. Just make a jump right on over there. There it is. World collectible number two. You'd fall down into the little area over here that looks kind of like a superhero mask. Jump off the edge. And there it is. World collectible number three. You kind of have to do a little reverse U-turn and come up the ramp. And there it is right there. None of these you have to use a boost for. Save your boosts. All right, go back down into that ravine where... World Clock Level Number 2 was, and the ramp for World Clock Level 3. Eventually, you'll come to these really loud bumpkins. Make a big jump right off there. Again, no boost necessary. And there you go. Keep following the path straight forward, and eventually, you'll come to this church. And that is World Collectible Number 5. Come back all the way around, make a U turn, and there is World Collectible Number 6 onto the main track. World collectible number seven is found towards the entrance where we came from, from the wasteland. There it is right there, underneath the wooden path. World collectible number eight is found in the pumpkin patch, kind of over here by the pirate's cave. And world collectible number nine, I had to search high and low for this one. It is found between the two, the north track and the south track on the main track. World collectible number 10 is at the top of the tower by the garage. Just line yourself up for this booster and go flying off. Now, if you miss it like I did, just hold down the B button before you land. <laughs> Sometimes you'll miss it multiple times. Eventually, though, you'll get that world collectible. Again, nice trick. Just hold down the B button and you'll reset back to the top. All right, let's do our challenge maps. Return of the Dead is the waypoint map, and just like all of the other waypoint maps, what we have to do is we start on one end of the map, and get all the way to the other end of the map, and then find our way back to the starting line. We can choose any route we want to go. It doesn't matter. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go right through the middle, and then we're going to hang a left here onto the main track. And we're going to kind of follow the main track around. And then we're going to jump off right at World Collectible number two, that position right here. There we go. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> we're going to get turned around. Oh no! Come on, get back. Oh, Grave Digger Legend. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, we're ahead of Grave Digger Legend now. We're going to follow this ravine around and there is our waypoint we got it so now we can go back the same way we came but i'm going to choose to keep going around oh geez thanks for the boost there avenger <laughs> thanks for the assist it is neck and neck with us and gravedigger legend now i have gotten lost in the woods many times on my way back to the uh, the waypoint let's see if i can find my way back this time here we go, here we go. Come on around. There are so many paths that wind between the main tracks. Ugh. I think this is the way to go, though. We cut across, and we gotta hang a right. Oh, come on, get in there. There we go. And we keep on going through these tracks that kind of, are these paths that go between the main track. Here we go, back onto the main track, and there's the finish line. Yeah! First place victory! Hey, Avenger! Oh, jeez! Big boost back. <laughs> there we go. Got our first place win, and we did get an unlock for getting first place on that challenge map. But for now, let's do our next challenge event, which is Castle Crashers. And that's funny. That's, that's a play on words for... Oh, I'm sorry. Castle Crushers. Play on words for the game called... Castle Crashers, 
which is really a fun, you know, side-scrolling game, but oh, we'll talk about that later. Here we go. Time destruction. Let's do this. Okay, so this time destruction gets, takes us all around the castle, which is a lot of fun. I enjoyed this time destruction. Here we go. I love the circles of outhouses on the parapets here. It's fun. I never know quite which direction to attack those from, though. Do I go to the right or do I go to the left? There we go. Nice. Up and over the gatehouse. Doing good so far. Here we go. Keep going. Get the barrels and the outhouses. These weird metal arches. I don't even know what those are. Okay, 119 combo. This is where it gets tough. These pumpkins. Oh, gosh. These pumpkins are really hard to line up. I don't know why, even. They just are. Oh, okay, good. All right. We're still on track. 138. Okay, now we're going to go up the main tower. I think those are pirate ship steering wheels. That's funny. There we go. We're almost to the end. 168 combo. That's awesome. We're doing really good. Okay, pumpkins. Over the jump. Oh, look at all those blimps. And we missed every single one of them. <laughs> okay, so in this case, we do not want to reset because that would reset our combo. And that would not be good. We are going to make a first place win. Even though we didn't get those blimps at the end. That's okay. That's okay. All right, level five for Megalodon. First place win. Let's see what we get. Castle Crushers. Okay, so what we unlocked is we unlocked Return of the Dead. We got 10% repulse range for Return of the Dead and 15% repulse power for getting the Castle Crusher time destruction. That's awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go find Megalodon with Grave Digger Inverse. Grave Digger Inverse is part of the DLC. The Megalodon, if you haven't seen my Megalodon video, or, or I'm sorry, the Son of a Digger video where we unlocked Megalodon, I'll link it at the top, but here is Megalodon right there out by the pirate ship. Let's find Megalodon's secret world collectible. I looked all over for these obelisks. I could not figure out where they were forever. I saw these over here to the left, and I thought, that's not it, because that's for Gravedigger. That's got to be for Gravedigger. Then, all of a sudden, I'm like, hey, these these little mausoleums, they're in a half circle. And there's some obelisks over here. Is this it? And sure enough, this is where they were. I felt so dumb because I drove past this thing so many times. But there is Megalodon's secret world collectible. Speaking of those obelisks over there, let's take Gravedigger the Legend and go unlock it. And I'll show you a back way to get over there. So the back side of the castle, of course, we've got this bell tower that tolls. And if you've seen my zombie video, you'll know what this does. It does nothing. Well, you run into it and the bell tolls, it dongs. It, it's just kind of fun, but it doesn't really do anything other than that. But if we drive down on the side of the bell tower, there is this ramp that goes down. And, you know, I really think this might have been part of a race at one point. But then the developers just decided that it wasn't worth finishing because it, it just seems like an unfinished track. So anyway, you fall off that unfinished track portion. You come around into the woods. And there is this marble statue dedicated to Gravedigger. 
and it slides away and then you can drive on in now gravedigger legend of course you have to unlock by getting 25,000 XP with any of the undead trucks so once you get in here there's monuments to all of the gravediggers past starting with this one up here that is the first original gravedigger you can see him on display at regular Monster Jam events. He is not in the game, though, unfortunately. And then all of the other different Grave Diggers. Grave Digger 25th Anniversary, Grave Digger 30th Anniversary, Grave Digger 40th Anniversary, and then the current iteration of Grave Digger. I'm pretty sure Grave Digger Legend is in there somewhere, too. But anyway, after you're done admiring all of the different Grave Diggers, you can take this ramp and jet off and collect Grave Digger Legends Secret World Collectible. And of course, if you missed the bridge like I did, oof! You just hold down B and reset, and there you go. You're back towards the ramp and you can try it again. Of course, if you're playing on the Switch or on the PlayStation, your button is going to be different, but it's whatever the reset button is. Alright, let's do the OG Grave Digger. The classic Grave Digger. So his secret world collectible is just up at the top, kind of over by where world collectible number 10 was. But instead of going left up for that jump, we're going to go to the right into the castle itself. And there's all this purple haze as you drive down the ramp. The ghost from Gravedigger's truck appears. And I backed up just to see if it would go away, and it, it wouldn't. <laughs> drive through the ghost, and then the, the, the castle lights up red. It's so cool. And for sure... That castle is definitely supposed to be the castle that's on the side of Gravedigger. I just love... This whole zone is kind of just an homage to Gravedigger. It's really kind of cool. It's it's the, what's painted on the side of Gravedigger. That's what this whole zone is. Just the haunted forest. Very cool. Alright, let's do Son of a Digger. Son of a Digger is... Over. Woohoo! over in this direction. Yowzas. <laughs> That's quite the trick there. Anyway, we gotta go to the north track. And on the north main track, there is this graveyard of all the trucks that Son of a Digger has defeated. And in the middle of it all is that rusted hulk of uh, junk. I don't know what that is. But you bash that rusted hulk out, and son of a digger's collectible appears. And you drive past the corpses of all the enemies that Grave Son of a Digger has defeated. All right, let's do Captain's Curse. Captain's Curse is on the northeast side of the map. There is a cave with pirate sails in it. Once you drive into the cave, you hang a left at this section here, and there's the Cursed Treasure. Yar. Once you drive in, the Cursed Treasure starts to glow, and all these scary skeletons start to appear. And they look like they're going to attack you, but they don't. <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. <laughs> And I drove up over onto the treasure to see if I could collect any of it, but you can't. It just, it just sits there. <laughs> Once all the treasure disappears, though, then Captain Curses, Captain's Curses, uh, yeah, this truck's secret world collectible appears. There it is. All right, let's do Pirate's Curse next. Pirate's Curse, you can get to it a couple different ways. You can go through the Pirate Cave. Or you can just drive through the swamp. Whichever way you want to. But, ah, shoot. Well, <laughs> you don't want to do that. 
<laughs> Remember, just hold down B to reset it. Oh, gosh. There we go again. And when you get to the pirate ship, you line yourself up. There you go. Line yourself up, launch yourself off. And there you go. There's pirates, curses, treasure. All right, zombie. <laughs> Save the, the best for last. <laughs> Zombies, if you haven't seen my zombie video, you need to go watch it. His collectible is the most involved and complicated collectible of them all. What you want to do is you want to start over here. I think I found what is the most efficient route to take. Start with this one. This little glowing zombie hand that comes out of the ground. Once you do a little circle around it, you can come back out. Then head over here to where world collectible number one is, but instead of going to the left, you go to the right. Go down the hill. And there is another zombie hand sticking out of the ground. Activate that one. There's going to be five zombie hands all together. There's world collectible number one. I'm right over here by world collectible number two. And I tried. You can't get to it from over from from world collectible number two. You have to go up this little ramp off to the right in that ravine. You do not need to boost. You just can drive right off onto the little platform where the hand is. Add zombie hand number three. Zombie hand number four is out here in the swamp. Once you get that collectible, you can from the church. You can come over here to the pumpkin bridge, hang a hard left, and just go straight up over this little land bridge right here, and come around to the right, and you will come into where zombie hand number four is. And once you leave, you eventually find your way over to the middle, the very middle of the course, the map, and right at the very tippy top of the this hill, in the middle of the course, or the middle of the map, there is the fifth zombie hand, and on the opposite side of the track from the fifth zombie hand is zombies, hidden collectible. All right, and with that, that is going to wrap it up for this ultimate guide to the haunted forest. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the video that you see on the screen right now. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you on the flip side. Later.